It's real simple. There are people that want to conquer nations and control everything and create poverty so they can sit over you and lord over you and then dictate the terms of your surrender. Then there are people who are confident and who want to produce incredible wealth and turn everybody loose as long as you don't take something from them that you didn't earn. Those are called confident people. It's Renaissance culture versus conquest culture. And in every system and in every time in history, there's been a mix of those two. But North Korea is a pure conquest slave culture. Uh, you could call maybe the Netherlands 100 years ago, uh, you know, a pure innovation culture. And it's innovation that creates high culture, incredible true diversity, and incredible choices. And everything the so-called liberals are doing is about destroying those choices, and that's why I, I can't stand them. I mean, because they're not just totalitarians. They claim they built all this renaissance. Like Obama, I played the clip last hour. We're going to play it coming up. He is running around right now saying that he and the government built our prosperity. I've got the full quotes here in an article. It's a shorter clip. He said, you know, if you like roads, you like General Motors, you like business, you like jobs, it's the government. That's the craziest thing historically. Uh, it, it, it is individual systems and ideas and large populations that produce civilization. I mean, I love Bill Maher bitching. I play the clip where he goes, I, I want more death. I want more abortion. I want more murder. Whatever gets the freeway moving. Hey, Dumbo, there's a big freeway in a mega city because there's 15 million people in Los Angeles and the greater area. And yeah, you swim to a coral reef. There's like 10,000 fish. You're like, oh, there's too many fish. You might go 10 miles before you see more fish. It's the same thing. You see all these people, that's the opportunity. If you don't like people, go to the countryside. Believe me, sometimes I want to. But don't say there's too many of them. Kill them so I can get on the freeway. There won't be a freeway, Dumbo. The truth is these are very unhappy people. And that's why they're out to get society. And you look at how hateful Hillary Clinton is. She's a great example. Gavin McGinnis is trained had a problem. So he's going to be with us in about 10 minutes or so. Let's go to this Paul Joseph Watson report. Dealing with Hillary Clinton. It's up on Infowars.com. And, and we'll also put that article up on screen so TV viewers can, can actually get the URL. Because this needs to go extremely, extremely viral. It deals with Hillary Clinton and her medical condition. Experts, Hillary is a sociopath and could have brain damage. I think she looks like she has a rubber mask on and is about to pull it off. I mean, she looks like the woman that basically goes into the White House and Mars attacks and pulls the mask off and she's a big green alien. Now, I'm not saying she's actually a green alien. I'm saying she looks like a cross between the Joker and the Wicked Witch of the West. I want to know where the flying monkeys are. I guess that's uh, her assistant or whatever, Uma Abedin or, or, uh, or, or Bill Clinton's like a flying, flying, flying monkey. But there's got to be some end to this. So if you're a radio listener, it's Paul narrating. If you're a TV viewer on stations here and there around the country or at Infowars.com forward slash show, this video should be seen by everybody because she looks and acts like a total whack job. If I was interviewing somebody for a job and they were doing stuff like this, I would ask them, uh, you know, uh, if they uh, needed a drink of water for they left because I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be wanting to be around someone who's obviously psychotic. I mean, I mean, I mean, she looks like again a person that you see on the side of the road who's a full blown schizophrenic. But if I have to analyze her from psychological studies, I'd say she's a hardcore borderline personality disorder. Uh, leaning into full psychosis on a bunch of different fronts and who routinely has psychotic breaks. She doesn't give tips. You can't look her in the eyes. She treats the Secret Service like dog crap. She yells and screams at other protective details. It's all on record that she is a lunatic. Here's the special report. What on earth could be the reason behind Hillary Clinton's bizarre behavior in recent weeks? Weird seizures, psychotic facial tics, over-exaggerated reactions, coughing fits, strange lesions on her tongue, 
Is Hillary on the verge of a mental breakdown due to stress, or are her strange outbursts linked to a medical condition? Is Clinton suffering from actual brain damage, or are these odd manifestations just an expression of some kind of narcissistic personality disorder? I talked privately with psychologists and psychiatrists to try and answer this question, and here's what they told me. We know Hillary fainted and hit her head back in 2012, leading to a blood clot in her brain. In almost half of sufferers, this leads to side effects and neurological issues. According to neurologist Dr. Daniel Cassiche, Hillary has post-concussion syndrome and cannot tolerate stress-inducing environments. Experts told me that this footage likely shows Hillary having a mild Jacksonian type of seizure caused by a side effect of the blood clot. Notice how shocked the reporter is by her behavior and how Hillary tries to turn it into a joke, but then continues having the seizure. Notice how it was triggered by several different people talking to her at once, which is a known cause of seizures. Is this why Hillary refuses to give press conferences? We see similar traits in this footage, the crazy eye movements, the overreaction to external stimuli, the weird elongated bathroom break in the middle of a televised debate, which insiders said was a flare up of problems from her brain injury. And do we believe Secretary Clinton will be coming around the corner any minute? Reports that she can barely stand up after giving a speech. The coughing fits, which is yet another side effect of strokes. <laughs> I almost say, put her in, man. Just put Difficulty her in. Difficulty swallowing, choking, a garbled voice. Again, all side effects of strokes. It's caused nuclear war. Guess what else is a side effect of strokes? Spontaneous outbursts of laughter that go on for longer than is socially comfortable. I know Bernie Sanders said that, um, quote, the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. <laughs> but there are a lot of people who are not. Well. <laughs> uh, includ including FBI officials. Some aspects of Hillary's freakish behavior could be explained by the blood clot, but others could be a manifestation of her notoriously unstable personality and even drug abuse. Her sudden, profound, and disproportionate bouts of rage, confirmed by former Secret Service agents, former K-9 handlers, and her own campaign insiders. An anonymous campaign aide told the New York Post that Hillary unleashed, quote, screaming childlike tantrums that have left staff members in tears and unable to work. Byrne paints a disturbing picture of what he claims Hillary is like behind the scenes. When something goes wrong, she seems to go right off the scale. Instead of trying to fix what the problem is, she uh, she goes right to anger and, and berates who she holds responsible for. Byrne told me that as First Lady, Hillary actually hit a Secret Riley, Service agent in the Bill back of the head Biden, with a Bible. She became angry about something. She had a Bible in her hand. She didn't actually throw it at him. As he described it to me, she leaned forward and kind of punched him in the, hit him in the head with it. He says the Clinton White House was like a battlefield, and the president showed up one morning with a black eye to prove it. They even said they had to give her, quote, chill pills to calm her down. These outbursts are likely linked to years of persistent drug abuse. Her susceptibility to rage whenever she's challenged would also explain the complete dearth of press conferences and why her campaign builds human walls to keep reporters away. Hillary is also likely on the autism spectrum. She has virtually no empathy for other people. One expert told me that Hillary has high-functioning autism with attendant sociopathy. Yep. We came, we saw, and he died. <laughs> this would explain the exaggerated expressions. They're to compensate for what psychiatrists call emotional illiteracy. Could this be why her efforts to connect with people seem so forced, so insincere? I'm just chilling in Cedar Rapids. There's even speculation that she could have contracted syphilis from sex addict Bill Clinton, which may explain the apparent lesion on her tongue. Then you have the memory lapses. Huma Abedin saying Hillary is, quote, often confused. The pathological lies about being under Bosnian sniper fire. The lies about her email scandal. All signs of cognitive impairment 
personality disorder, or both. <coughs> All this, while the Clinton campaign claims her only issues are allergies and hypothyroidism. Hillary could be mentally incapacitated and incapable of handling stress even before she takes on the most stressful job in the world. Barack Obama claims Donald Trump is unfit to be president because of his rhetoric. But is Hillary Clinton physically unfit to be president? She's obviously mentally ill. She's out of control. Evil people, particularly uh, folks like her, rot as they get older mentally. It's just historical fact. And she is a clear and present danger to this republic. Part of me wants her to go ahead and just get in and totally wreck this whole globalist agenda forever. They think she's going to save it. Oh, she'll end it. Uh, unless she has a nuclear war. And this is somebody who has a thing out to dominate women and men and who's extremely warlike. And, uh, and the Russians have pegged her. They think she's very, very dangerous and, and, is, and is really going to escalate the situation. And the Pentagon is scared of her. They have a lot of intelligence analysts that have come out and said Hillary is super bad news. I've talked to soldiers, multiple soldiers that protected Hillary Clinton when she was a Secretary of State in Iraq and other countries. And uh, it's like she goes under mind control trance. Well, I'm not even at liberty to tell these stories. I was going to stop right there. People wouldn't believe it anyways. <laughs> This country is in so much trouble, and so is the world. But basically, Hillary just cuts off in a car like a robot. She just sits there and goes into a trance. Well, you know, when they're driving through Baghdad or whatever, she is something's wrong with her. Talk show host is Alex Jones. He's a he's a conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. Radio talk show host and conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. Deeply, I think, racist. I just got called racist by MSNBC. I don't want that man to have a gun. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. The Alex Jones Show. Watch the free stream live at Infowars.com forward slash show. We have ended the big mega sale. Now, we have kept three items, though, this week. That's Brain Force, while supplies last, the amazing nootropic for $17.76, normally $29. Leading competitors that have similar formulas are $60 to $70 to $80. That's 40% off. DNA Force, our flagship product. It's a big deal to offer 30% off on that. We're extending that. And then Vitamin Mineral Fusion, all the vitamins, all the minerals, the amino acids, the cofactors to help upload it. Great tasting fruit punch. InfoWarsLife.com, that's 30% off, but I'm going to go further. Boom, here it is. Normally, you sign up for auto ship, you get 10% off. You still get that on top of it. I'm doing free shipping on everything, whether it's one Hillary for prison shirt or a Bill Clinton rape shirt uh, or whatever it is, whatever informational warfare weapon you want to help spread the word and meet like-minded people, free shipping store-wide. Free shipping store-wide. So I want to thank you all for your support, your prayers, and so much more. real simple there are people that want to conquer nations and control everything and create poverty so they can sit over you and lord over you and then dictate the terms of your surrender then there are people who are confident and who want to produce incredible wealth and turn everybody loose as long as you don't take something from them that you didn't earn those are called confident people it's renaissance culture versus conquest culture and in every system and in every time in history, there's been a mix of those two. But North Korea is a pure conquest slave culture. Uh, you could call maybe the Netherlands 100 years ago, uh, you know, a pure innovation culture. And it's innovation that creates high culture, incredible true diversity, and incredible choices. And everything the so-called liberals are doing is about destroying those choices 
And that's why I, I can't stand them. I mean, because they're not just totalitarians. They claim they built all this renaissance. Like Obama, I played the clip last hour. We're going to play it coming up. He is running around right now saying that he and the government built our prosperity. I, I've got the full quotes here in an article. It's a shorter clip. He said, you know, if you like roads, you like General Motors, you like business, you like 